everybody and welcome back to my channel so today is Sunday and I'm just feeling like I really just want to chill and you know get my week you know get start getting my week ready um, because I feel like it's gonna be a long week so I went to the store early went and got some supplies for my school and I went and got Red Lobster so I want to have like a little mukbang. This, this will be me like my second one, but I'm excited. Hmm. With a side of a McDonald's milkshake and strawberry. All right. So I have some scampi. The fried shrimp, broccoli, as you can see, my mashed potatoes, and my biscuits. I have crab, um, yeah, <laughs> crab legs, lobster, and there's some rice in here. So, I'm kind of hungry, and it's about, I'm looking at my, I thought I had my, um, my watch on, but... It is almost two o'clock and I have not eaten. I didn't even eat breakfast, so. What? <laughs> oh, okay. I had to like look at that text again, like go back through the thread. I'm like who is this? Cause the number's not saved. And sometimes they won't be, because I'm just like, you know, we don't talk that often. I'll be trying to keep my circle small. Mm, I think it's like rice peel off, kind of. It's too good. I'll just move that to the side. I'm not feeling that too much. So, as you guys know or don't know, that I started a new position and job. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. So I started a new position. Um, I've been teaching for about 10 years, so I've been teaching for like a long time. And <clears throat> Now I am the assistant director um, at a center. So that's pretty exciting because I've been wanting to take on more responsibilities and get out of the classroom. I love kids. I love children. love teaching, all of that. But I feel like I've grown within these years to take my skills to the next level. I'm going to throw And sometimes, like, when you're working in centers, like, they, there's, like, no, like, there's no room for growth unless they, you know, they make a position for you or it's something like, um, if it's something like a, um, what do you call it, like a curriculum coordinator because not every school has one, which they should but not every school has one. So um, if they do something like that or, you know, make up something else. So, and I did put a little hot sauce in my butter. So that was, you know, that's been my thing with, you know, working in schools. And I know you're like, well, why don't you just go to a public school? Well, it's the same thing. Unless, you know, you are, you know, taking on a position as a principal, vice principal, something like that, it's still the same ladder. So, it's not like, whoa. So, it's not like you are moving up too much further 
unless you go back to school. I can't find my other scissors, so I had to get these. So hopefully these work. So I'm pretty excited because I feel like I manifested this opportunity and I've been working on, you know, my positivity, thinking positive, staying positive, you know, living how I want my life to be. So I've been trying to, you know, work on, oh, I'm making like a whole ass mess. Why don't y'all tell me like these mukbangs are so messy? Oh. So I've been working on it. And of course, since I'm always on YouTube, like all the time, you know, I watch other people's channels about, you know, manifestation and, you know, things like that. So, you know, I got a journal and I need to write in it more often, but for the month of July, um, it's going to be, and I'm not saying I'm waiting until July to, you know, get my mind right and start thinking more positively because, ew, because I'm already doing that. I'm just, you know, I feel like I'm going to put forth more effort to sustain it a little bit better and to manifest bigger things. Because I want to do a lot and anyone who knows me knows like I always have like an idea or something that I want to do and I don't want to just talk about the things that I want to do. I want to make it happen. Mm. I actually want to make it happen. Oh, maybe I should be using that little tool that they gave me. This might help. I mean... I've never used one, but let's see. I just need to get all this thing out. So, I'm sure this is not how you use it, so don't judge me. But, I still mess this one up but it's still good but yeah so i want you know more things out of the next the next month it's like i don't want to feel like i'm wasting my 2019 and then you know you get to november october october november and then you're like damn <sighs> the year is over already and it is pretty much so yeah we're like almost in july in like another day so i want things to be different and i just gotta work on it i really just need to work on it so Of course, you know how they'd be like, well, you know, don't tell, you know, about the, don't talk about the things that you say you want to do, which, yes, I agree, because, you know, not everyone is rooting for you, so you do want to keep, like, some things to yourself, especially, you know, what you plan to do, because not everyone has a dream, not everyone knows what they want to do, so your dream might sound enticing to them and before you know it they'll be inviting you to you know their opening of your dream so yeah So yeah, I'm being mindful of that. I'm being mindful of that. Why 
it's all good. So, aside from that, um, I have so many journals. It's crazy. Right? I have a lot. A lot of journals. So, you know, having a journal is not the problem. It's trying to carve out time from my life, my daily schedule to actually do it. But of course they say people make time for the things they want, of course. I haven't been getting any butter. You make time for the things you want. And it takes no time, no time to, you know, write a couple pages, especially if you know what you want. If you know what you want, you know, that should take no time. I'm trying to be all fancy with my scissors. Because I've seen other people doing it. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you follow other people. And you make a bigger mess. But it is so good. And I can't help it. So, I can't wait to talk to you guys about, you know, the tarot and stuff. So, I ordered a tarot book on, I think it's like Tarot Made Easy, I think, on Amazon. And it was supposed to be here today, but of course, they sent me an email saying that it would not be here until tomorrow. So, now I have to wait in anticipation when I was really wanting to, you know, chill with my book and look at it and, you know, study it. And I'm more of a hands-on kind of person. So, I need to actually do the things that, you know, I want to get into. I can't just, you know, just read it from a book and be like, okay, I got it. Sometimes, but majority of the time, I'm a hands-on person. This is like really warm. So, it will be here tomorrow, and I'm so excited. And I think, like, learning about Tarot and, you know, listening to other people, I think that's what has me so excited, you know, a lot of these days. Because, I don't know, I wasn't too... I wasn't so much into, you know, tarot before. And then I met a friend who was into it or is into it. And now I am. Let me try this broccoli. I hope it's good. I'm probably going to put some butter on it. Oh, man. Drip, drip, came through dripping. <laughs> yep, so. what happened stuff was popping up on my computer guys sorry and my poochies are in their house so if you hear them moving around because i can't leave them outside it's super hot and every time someone or a dog walks past you know they start barking So they are like legit my home alarm 
for real. But I haven't tried to do my tear. Let me get back to that. So I haven't tried to actually do my tear, like do a reading, because I still want to learn. And I don't feel like, you know, I know about enough about the cards to really make sound decisions on what it's supposed to mean in regards to like a situation. I know you like ask questions, you know, and then you go from there, but of course you can do general readings. But it's kind of like having this intuitive outlook that, you know, I don't think I've, it's hit me yet. So, and I don't know when it's supposed to hit you, but I haven't gotten it yet. But I do have my um, Rider Wave deck. So, and I do look at it and I try to, you know, I try one time like just put out cards, but I don't really know what they mean. So, I guess that was just an experimentation. Like, I'm like, how do people do like mukbangs like all the time? Oh my gosh. I'm like almost full already. Hell. <clears throat> Try not to drink too much of that. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I have a lot of things that I want to do. So, and I was just listening to, it was probably on the radio, which I don't really listen to the radio like that. Um, it was just sinking to my car. So they were saying that, you know, the faster you learn, the faster you can teach. Which is absolutely true. And I'm going to adopt that and make it into my own. Taste of hot sauce. And, you know, you can't just want to get all this information or skill and not be able to put it to use. What's the fun in that? So, you learn and you teach. I really want to get into motivational speaking. Like this really is just everywhere. I really want to get into motivational speaking. So if anyone has any tips for me, besides the internet, um, on how to get into motivational speaking, or you know just where to start, um, leave it in the comments below, <clears throat> or shoot me an email in my social media. Go to my DMs or something. However you want to get it to me, um, because I really want to get into motivational speaking. And I know that, you know, some of the easiest ways that you can do it is just making videos of yourself talking about, you know, a topic that you are absolutely passionate about, your stances and your beliefs and all of that, and basically talking about things that you actually know, um, and posting it on Facebook and, you know, every platform that you're on, pretty much. I know that. So, but I don't know. I feel like I want more in-depth, like information on how to do it or a different way so I know you guys are probably like why should you like one thing at a time that's just me I'm the kind of person that like sometimes I don't really like my food touching and I will eat like one thing at a time, majority of the time. I'm an Aquarius, and you know, Aquariuses are weird, so you just have to like it or love it. And majority of the time, we don't care, and I don't. Oh, 
heard they like a happy dance when you are like eating something so good. And that was good. So. I think I can do it without this broccoli. But, oh my gosh, some of these shows I've been watching have been super good. And I just realized they, they didn't give me my cocktail sauce. Mm. Mm. Some good shows. Mm. And it's like, I wasn't watching TV. I don't really watch TV like that. Because I really only have like Philo, Netflix, Hulu, those type of um, networks or apps or whatever they're called. Mm. But I'm a movie head too. So I'm always finding something good to watch. And I've been trying to be more open minded instead of judging the movie by its cover. Because I do that. We all do that. Mm, let me see. Good movies I've seen lately. Mm. Oh, yes. Let's talk about that. The last movie I went to see was Child's Play. You guys, when I say I was so disappointed, I was so disappointed. They, I hope that is the last Chucky or Child's Play movie that they come out with. Because it just seemed like, you know, it was just off. And the way that they structured him, like his face, I'm just like, I don't know, it's just weird. And it wasn't scary. It wasn't like the usual, you know, Child's Play type of movies um, that have been made and now you know andy he's grown up and his mom who i thought was his sister but now he has a mom so i'm confused um they are i, I don't even know it's like i'm so confused about the whole damn movie i'm just like okay so are we starting from you know him being a teenager and we're starting this whole uh, child's play you know from the beginning where you know he doesn't know anything about Chucky and all this other stuff and I'm like okay but even then the whole synopsis of it is that Chucky was getting mad that or was killing and hurting things that hurt Andy so it wasn't like he was trying to take over his body you know he always tried to do that in all the other movies so it wasn't anything like that and i was just so disappointed so i mean you guys can go watch it and see it for yourself but me i was disappointed because my favorite genre of movies is horror but hey i don't know I'm like looking outside but I don't know I was just very disappointed in the movie and they could have did a lot better Ma was good though Ma was really good Miss Spencer Miss Spencer she played the hell out of that role. She did so good. She is a great actress. But yeah. Um, other than that, I think I went and seen Wonder Woman. I haven't seen um, Dark Venus. I was told that it was good, so I need to go see that. Um, shows. Let's talk about shows. Mm.
some good shows that I have been watching. One of my all-time faves, like right now, is Good Girls. Oh my God, so good. And if you guys don't watch that, you need to catch up. And it's on Netflix, so there's no excuse. And it's so good. The show, I mean. I mean, this is hella good, but the show is so good. Um. Mm, what is that show? I can't even think of the name of the shit. Mm, it's on. I watch it on Hulu, but it's about a family whose mother she's not working, but one of her kids is um, handicapped, and then she has two other kids and. Mm. what is this show if you guys know what I'm talking about um, link it down below because that show is like super funny mm. American Housewife is good too I love it super hilarious mm. I need like the regulars to come back on like power this is about to be its last season like everything is going off there's not gonna be you know any more power or um um cookie like none of that oh my goodness the lion's last season stars are good oh my nose is so itchy guys sorry Star is another favorite show of mine too. So I love it. I wish Pretty Little Liars came back on, but I guess I can't do anything else with that show. I don't think I watched the last season or two. Shout out to Shay Mitchell. She is Preggers and she looks so gorge. All right, guys, I'm super full, super full. So, I do want people to smack. That is such a pet peeve. That's why I couldn't watch Q. Oh my God. So, no, no, no. Why do you eat like that? All right, guys. So, <laughs> let me stop talking crap. All right, you guys. So, this has been great. I uh, My eye is twitching. Like, what does that mean when your eye is twitching? It's been twitching, like, all day. And it's just this eye. All right, well, I don't know. You guys can link everything you need to ask me, um, or not link it, but put it in the comments. Um, I'm gonna have to do so much vacuuming after this. Sheesh, Louise, y'all didn't tell me that this was messy. But um, this, isn't my shirt cute? So I got this from SandCloud. So SandCloud is an organization that cleans up marine life. And we try to make the oceans and waters a little bit safer and cleaner for our ocean animals. So it would be so great. I will link the um, website down below to where you can get one of these shirts. And this is actually a crop top. So pretty cute. And um, <clears throat> you can grab your shirt, towels, bottles, um, Pretty much they have a lot of merchandise and it goes to support you know finding people to clean up these oceans because they are so dirty and it hurts my feelings when i see animals like tangled up um and you know plastic and everything that people put in the oceans because they're too lazy to throw it away into a trash can but i digress um yes i will link my shirt or the website sorry <laughs> down below so that you guys can check out the website and 
think there was something else I was going to tell you. Oh, yeah. Um, also, you can check out uh, my blog at livinglowkey.wordpress.com. And also check out my podcast, The Hour of Power with Kyoto, on all streaming podcast platforms. I am definitely trying to make things happen. And with your support, it you know it will get there because we all have to start somewhere and it doesn't nothing has to be perfect we just all just have to take the steps to make practice no that's not what i was gonna say <laughs> in the words of les brown practice makes what do you say I can't remember. But, yeah, you just have to try. You just have to take those steps, whatever it is. Get rid of those. Get rid of the fear. Get rid of the doubt and just do it. Because the longer you sit on your ideas, the more likely you're going to find out that later down the road, someone else has taken that idea when it could have been your name that is on that product or on that brand. So don't be afraid to follow your dreams. You're never too old. You're never too young to do what it is that you want to do because you never know where life will take you. So definitely, you know, spend time with yourself, get to know yourself, get to know your skills and profit on your skills and your knowledge. That's what we are here for. We are here to learn and teach others. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. So as I'm saying that, I also need to learn to do the same thing. So we can all learn together and I have no problem with that. I love having a supportive group and, you know, people online can be so mean, but I know that everyone can come together and, you know, help each other. What you see that they lack, give them advice on how to improve it and not criticize. So you guys, shout out to my LBGTQ. Love you guys. And... We are 365 always, not just the month of June. But can't wait for Pride to come here to Charlotte, although it's, you know, never great. But, you know, I'm just excited for Pride. Uh, yeah, so, you guys, I love you. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let's chat. Let's talk. And... If there's anything else, you know, DM me. I'll link all of my social media down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.